First question is from Forlevesi Claudio. When feeling tired, is it better to have a mediocre workout or rest and train the next day? Yeah, so this depends on on how tired you are and why you're tired. If mm. if you went It also depends I also think it depends on um how often this happens to you too. Of course. Cuz uh remember when we had a we had a good interview with um Dr. Andy Galpin. Mm. And we we talked about this a little bit. And he made a really good case for um there's value in you know, kind of forcing yourself through uh, a, a workout like this sometimes. Mm -hmm. Not all the time, not most of the time, sometimes. Yeah. So if you're somebody who like- Optimizing versus adapting. That's right. That's a, mm -hmm. Right? And so there, there, is, there is times where it's like, hey, you know, you being able, you want to be able to get up and do these things when you're tired. If you always, you know, go easy or fold when you're tired or fatigued all the time, then when you need to get at it, you're, gonna, you're yeah. not going to be able to perform. Yeah. Now, another thing to consider is that movement, so long as the intensity and volume is adjusted, is usually good for you. No, almost, almost, not always, but almost no matter what. So if you feel sluggish or sore or tired, you probably don't want to go to the gym and beat yourself up. But what you might want to do is go to the gym and and do some full range of motion mm -hmm. movement yeah, at low a, intensity. Adjust your intensity, yeah. Yeah, some mobility stuff at low to moderate intensity, some stretching. And what you'll find is it actually helps rejuvenate the body. It actually helps increase improved circulation. So in, in those cases, sitting down and resting might be bad. Because here's another thing. These days, a lot of people feel sluggish and tired because they don't move. Mm -hmm. That's right. Not mm -hmm. because they've been moving too much. I've seen this with my own kids, when, mm -hmm. especially when they're doing school from home. I'll take them outside and force them to work out or go on a walk. First 10 minutes, they're uh, complaining. After about 10 minutes, their energy starts to perk up, and they feel a lot better, even though they're complaining at the beginning and saying, I'm too tired to work out. Yeah, well, you know, your body responds to what you do the most, and, and that's what you're – you're literally teaching your body uh, what the priorities are every single day. And so to – to get up and to move at least, and, and like you said, like adjust your intensity and at least go through ranges of motion, I think is massively valuable because it just still sort of sends that signal that the body needs to move, it needs to function, it needs to express itself, uh, and that's a healthy practice to maintain. But, you know, there are some days where you just had like uh, an incredibly intense workout or, you know, you're just bombarded with work or you, you just haven't taken a day off at all. I think it's valuable too to just take it off. Yeah, totally. But you know, and there was that one study you brought up a couple episodes ago, Justin, where they showed that people working their grip mm, uh, yeah. improved their cognition. Just mm -hmm. that that flexing and, and squeezing of the hand got them to perform better with cognition. I noticed with the trigger sessions in Maps Anabolic, when I was testing the program out, I noticed throughout the day the trigger sessions were better than a cup of coffee. They energized me, mm -hmm. even if I went into them like, "Oh man, I'm so I don't really want to do this," and then I do it, and then I'd come out of it, and I'd feel invigorated. So movement is usually a good idea. You just have to modify the intensity and the volume.